Hey everyone, Simon here with an analysis of this year's Super Bowl, the exercise bowl. Um, so, okay, here's the uh, analysis. The chart for 6.30, uh, we're gonna do a Vedic analysis first and then a Western astrology analysis, put them together and see what we can find. We're also gonna look at what, um, you know, the pros and stuff are saying, although I don't pay too much attention to that. So the chart for 6.30 in Tampa on February 7th shows us 29 degrees and 56 minutes. That's for 6.33 p.m. After that, if the game starts literally seconds, let's see, 10, 20, 20 seconds after that, we have a different ascendant and a different kind of a uh, setup. So immediately that, that makes this a little bit suspect and I'm gonna wanna watch the live kickoff. Now, the cool thing about football and modern day sports, those of you who are betters know this, is you can bet live. You can bet at halftime. You can bet in the third quarter even. Um, so um, that's, that's one problem that this game uh, gives us. Another problem is who is the actual favorite? now. The by the books, Kansas City is the favorite by three, but Tampa Bay happens to also be the home team. So there is an a je ne sais quoi, a, a kind of untouchable, ethereal, ineffable quality that playing in your home stadium gives you that almost gives you the advantage, especially with the tight. It's only a three point advantage that Kansas City had. If they were a touchdown, then yeah, they'd be the favorite. So that's another question that makes me wonder who really is the favorite here. But we're going to follow the line and say Kansas City is the favorite. So by looking at the cancer ascendant, let's go back to that. This basically puts all the planets in the seventh house. Um, and uh, although, you know, the favorite has a strong Mars placement here, it's not close enough to the uh, midheaven to make a difference. So this looks like the underdog has a bit of an advantage. Um, yeah, so that's that. We do have Pluto also on the sixth cusp, which is interesting. Um, now, if we flip over, so again, this is kind of a weird, weird kind of chart. If we flip over to the uh, Western chart, and I don't have, haven't installed solar fire in this computer, so I'm using astro.com, their free software here. If we use this, we have another kind of a dilemma. Now, one of the techniques for those of you who are in winning with Vedic astrology is to see the first aspect the moon makes. Moon makes no aspect here. Another technique is to see what's on the cusps. There's nothing really exactly on the cusps. But wait, Simon, what about Mercury? Well, yeah, Mercury, but Mercury doesn't rule any of the uh, relevant houses, so we, we can throw Mercury out. Well, wait, what about Sun? Look, it's 19 and a half, and the seventh cusp is 23. Doesn't that count? Yes, that could count. That could put, because the Sun is the ruler of the first house. And if this game started five minutes before 6.30, then favorite wins it. No doubt, it's game over. Done. But it is about four degrees away. And unfortunately, in my system and also in Frawley's system, the author of Sports Astrology, it's not quite enough, I think, to give this to the favorites. Okay. But in, in addition, there is something else that is causing a problem for the favorites, which is Tom Brady. But what, what else? <laughs> it is part of fortune, actually. And the part of fortune, it's not illustrated here, is at about six degrees cancer, all right? And what you'll notice is the moon at one degree, one and a half degrees Capricorn is exactly opposite the part of fortune. This is not good for the favorites, particularly also because the moon is the dispositor of the part of fortune. So this serves a double kind of opposition purpose. So, this leads me to believe that if, if the sun is truly affecting, which it is, perhaps it is a little bit, that the favorites won't win by covering the margin. 
So my final prediction is uh, Tampa Bay to cover. Okay, so Tampa Bay, the underdog, if they're the underdog, we think they're the underdog, will cover the spread of three points, which means it's going to be a close game. All right. Uh, another question is, is it going to be um, a high score? Is it going to be an over or an under? This one is even more difficult to tell because it depends, going back to the uh, Vedic chart here, it depends on whether we have the Cancer or the Leo. If it's a Leo, my, my sense is that it's going to be an under game, underscore, okay? Because Saturn is debilitated in the ascendant here and it creates uh, some problems. So my pick is Tampa Bay to cover or the underdog to cover the spread. Um, but again, this isn't something that, like if you push me, if you put me against the wall and said, you have to pick something, that would be my pick, Tampa to cover. Is it one of those things that I'm like, yes, I'm gonna put $10,000 on this? Probably not, no, definitely. Um, would I put a couple hundred bucks on it? Probably, but um, we'll see. I may actually wait till the start of the game. But I'm sticking with this. This is my prediction. Tampa Bay to cover. Oh, one last thing is the public is going big on um, Kansas City. And one of the best betting strategies you can have, it's always a winning strategy, is to bet against the public. In fact, if we go to Sports Insights, see, I haven't gone on this site in a long time. Computer doesn't even know it. Um, and if you go to free odds and you go to NFL, let's take a look right now at what the public is doing. All right, so we could see that, oh wow, yeah, the, the money line, <laughs> yeah, we have reverse line movement here, guys. Um, a little bit it's not huge but it's a little bit so we have reverse line movement which is this is what re, this is another good indication that we're liking the underdog let me explain to you what that means those of you who are pros already know what this means but uh reverse line movement indicates that even though a large percentage of the people are betting on one team in this case Kansas City, the line, meaning the odds of them winning according to the, uh, to the book, is actually getting smaller. So check this out. If everybody's betting on one person to win, the line should actually grow. It, it should go from minus three and a half to minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. Because they're trying to balance out how many bets come in on either side. Just trust me, this is right. This is how it works. But what we now have is reverse line. Even though more people are going into the Chiefs, the line is coming down. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that even though more people are betting on the Chiefs, more money is coming in on the Patriots. So that means big money smart money, institutional money, just like with stocks, stonks, cryptos, right? Some people are betting on one thing, but the big money is coming on something else or betting against it, you can say. But actually, it's got nothing to do with stocks. This is a, an established technique in sports uh, analysis that we cover in our Winning with Vedic, Vedic Astrology course, which is if the public is going strong on a team, but you see the line coming down, it's a sure bet that big money, unseen money is coming in against them. Okay, so out of those 38%, they're probably big, you know, kind of whales. And these 62% are people betting a couple hundred at a time, right? That's why the line is moving down. So again, this kind of cements or, or gives some more basis for my prediction that Tampa, the underdog, is going to cover. And, uh, or th and that's what I think. 
So, all right, guys, hope this was useful to you. Um, make the best of it uh, that you can, or just watch and, uh, and enjoy the game like I will. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Namaste.